Right, guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can remove these accessory power plugs, I used to call them cigarette lighters, right, from any GM vehicle, you know, from the late 80s on up until very recently. And normally this assembly here is sitting in a bezel. It'll be sitting in a bezel like this on the dash, right? And sometimes those bezels will have a little cover built into them like this. And whichever type it is, the way you get them off is there's a special tool it's like a T here, and that tool is designed to fit into that little square mark. If we zoom in down there, we can see there's a little square mark there, or square cutout rather on the steel. And then right on the opposite side, there's another one. And you can see there's like a little plastic tab, right? And these little tabs are what holds the bezel onto the assembly, the lighter assembly. And so if we put this tool in one of these, and we put it in the other side, it pushes these out. And so what you'd be able to do in the vehicle is slowly pull this guy through. And I'll show you on an actual vehicle here in just a second. Once that's out of the way, the tool comes off. This comes out. This part stays in the vehicle. And like I said, it either is a type like this or it'll be a type like this, right? Either way, it's the same deal. It stays inside the vehicle. And it's only this part that actually comes out. So let's take a look at it actually on the vehicle and we'll come back and talk about this tool some All more. Right, guys, before you do this kind of repair, you want to grab your owner's manual and find the location of the fuse that is applicable to the accessory power outlet. And on this Pontiac G5 that we're going to be looking at, we've got that guy right here. So this is the guy we want to pull before we do the procedure. We need to make sure there's no power going to the outlet before we stick the tool into the outlet. All right, guys, we're in this Pontiac G5 kind of demonstrating this. So this type of vehicle has got a cover like this. When you see those and you take your tool, again, you're trying to get your tool in that little square hole that we showed earlier. It snaps in. Now, when you got one that's got one of these kind of bezel covers, you just want to hold it with your thumb so you don't pull that out of the dashboard. And that way you don't break this. And then you can uh, flip this guy around. You pinch him, and then you've got this guy removed. All right, guys, so the tool I used is, a, is the GM tool. It's a J42059 cigarette lighter remover, right? Uh, the, the genuine tool is made of steel, so it's magnetic. But the tool you can pick up in your local parts store looks very similar. The only difference is it's made of aluminum, so it's not magnetic. And the only problem with it being aluminum is, so this is a tool that will last you, you know, dozens, hundreds of uses. This is a tool that will last you maybe three or four before, before as you do that pull, remo uh, pull maneuver, you start to get metal fatigue. So you can see this one here I've had, it's starting to get bent, right? This one's about ready to go into the scrap metal box. But for your own DIY and to pull one of these for one repair or maybe two or three, it works out great. I'll give you a link in the description for both, both the professional tool and the DIY tool. It's that simple. If you've got questions or uh, you know, comments, leave them down below. Uh, hit that like button if you found this useful and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.